In this video, we are discussing binning pattern example. And using this example, we shall also give you some idea regarding the implementation of the code and running of the code. So in this example, we shall be using post links.xml to divide the post links based on their post links and the code will generate two files. One is the duplicate and another one is the linked type links from the XML file. So to have this particular assignment getting implemented, so let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of the concept. In this example, we are going to discuss binning pattern example falling under the data organization pattern. We shall be dealing with the post links .xml under the folder slash input slash post links. And here we are going to discuss the current content of this post links .xml. We have shown some of the rows, all the rows have got enclosed within this post link, having got multiple rows are there. And these are the I, uh, respective attributes I am showing here. So ID, creation, date, post ID, related post ID and linked type ID. So these are the multiple attributes are there. So here we shall separate links by link type ID and it will be only a map only job. So we are having multiple rows are there. Here we have shown some of them uh, to make you understand. This is my Java program. So binning mrtax.java. Under that I am having one uh, mapper class extended that is a links mapper. Under this, we have defined one uh, variable, one object that is a multiple op, that means output, under the class multiple outputs. And we are having the setup, and within the setup, we shall in, uh, instantiate this multiple output variable. This multiple output is equal to new multiple outputs in the current context. So that has been done in the setup method. We have done the overwriting. Next one, we are going to override the map method. This map method we are overriding here. We are having one XML parse that is the there is a hash map uh, there is a hash map object, and XML to map is a method which will read one XML file and returns one hash map object, and that will instantiate this XML parsed. So now string uh, link type is equal to XML parse dot get link type ID. So using that ID from the hash map, you are getting the link type. If the link type is equal to is equal to null, then return means rest of the code will not be executed. But here this link type can be having the value either 1 or 3. So if the link type dot trim, just eliminating the blank spaces before after, if equals 1, then you shall go for this multiple output write, bins, value, null writable dot get and linked. So this particular text is there. So separate the links uh, for the link type id is equal to 1. And then in the else part, we are going for the same, but here we are writing that one for duplicate. So for duplicate, we have kept that one in the try catch block. We are having the cleanup where we shall only close the multiple output object. We are having uh, the respective, uh, let us discuss, it is, a, it is a no reducer, only it is having the map only job. So we shall discuss the main function. This main function re uh, uh, requires when the program will be executed two arguments. Two arguments will be required. The first one is the bidding MR task, that is a class name, then the input file location, the folder and the output file location folder. So that is required, otherwise exit one. Job has been defined with the name that is a binning the post links. So that is a job ID. So there is a job name we have defined. We have assigned the respective job. We have assigned the respective mapper class, whatever we have defined earlier. And here the reducer, there is no reducer, map only job. And for this set input path and set output path, we'll be using this argument zero one, argument one, command line arguments. And then for multiple outputs, we are going for add named output. There is a job, bins, there is a bins. Then we'll be having the uh, text format, which is of the text format class. And then text class and output will be null writable class. Next one, we are having the multiple outputs dot set counter enable. So job true. So we are just enabling the counter. We're just making the enable the counter and depending upon the completion status, zero or two will be returned system.exit either 0 or 2. 0 means successful completion, 2 means unsuccessful completion. So in this way, the main function has been written. Now it is a high time to create the jar file. So to create the jar file, we'll be going for the respective package and then we shall click on the export and then we shall give the jar file name, we shall give the path and then next and finish. 
so jar file we have already created so this particular step we are uh, not executing right now so we shall go for the command in the console the command is Hadoop jar so there is a command I have already written so Hadoop jar then we will be going for this map reduce design pattern jar files the respective jar file path and the jar file name binning is the uh, there is a package name binning mr task is a class name input post links will be the this is the binning is the uh, package name and this is the class name and then input and post links this is the path where the uh, the xml file is residing and the output path has been given now let me execute the command let me show you that it is really getting separated by the link type id and here we are having two link types id that is a one and three so let me see the output folder at first let me see so going for the output folder so going back and then output folder yes so here we are having the duplicate m one file linked m another file is there two two files is there part file also has got great created but it is having the zero bytes so that indicates that nothing has been written in this part file so we'll be concentrating on this duplicate and linked these two files we are concentrating so let me see the content of them so i hope that in the linked we'll be having the uh, link type id one all the records and in case of duplicate we'll be having the ring type link type ibd three so here the command i'm executing first one executing the wrote this command earlier so I'm taking that one from the history so you can find that all the link tab ID is equal to 3 for duplicate part duplicate output file all the link tab ID is equal to 3 you can find this one and for the other one yes for this one if we execute we can find that if I execute this one you'll be getting the link tab ID is equal to 1 yes it is the current content so in this way you have shown you that how to create uh, such binning pattern example step by step into details so now we can create delete the output folder so that the next map reduce tax can be executed and i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching